Hi guys. Welcome to channel VERAZOYA8. This time we will talk about, future technology predictions, the world in 2050. Make sure you watch until you're done, so you can benefit from this exciting info. From things in the air to new things for our bodies, join me as we explore 2050, what would be the future technology? The world in 2050 future technology, we are in the year 2020, and if we're being honest with ourselves, technology is incredibly advanced, and we're making strides that can push things even further. We have cars that are much safer than they've been in the past decade, and we're even making fully electric cars that can help save the planet. There are even plans for self-driving cars and even self-driving Ubers that make the future of transportation very exciting. And that's just one technology that we're growing at a fast rate. What about all the others that are out there? What will technology be like as we get closer and closer to 2050? Let's start with the one that well and truly could happen very soon, drones. Wait a minute, drones are already here, and yes, they are. But more times than not the drones you are seeing are small, piloted by people who are just trying to have some fun, or, are the ones that are used by the military right now for strikes and surveillance. All very fun, but in the future, drones could be an integral part of our daily lives. You've likely seen shows and people talk about how in a few years drones could be the new delivery services. Anything from pizza to Amazon packages, and more. And honestly, that's very probable. Drones right now can be incredibly sophisticated, and some TV shows use them for sweeping and aerial shots as the film, it's very cool. But to do deliveries, that'd have to be a little more programmed, as human error no doubt would be a very big buzzkill. Not that it's impossible right now, it's more of a question of numbers, logistics, costs, and making sure that the deliveries themselves are done methodically and carefully. After all, it's bad enough when delivery people don't care enough about our packages that they just throw them onto the porch and potentially break stuff, the last thing we need is that to happen with drones. But by 2050? We might not only have drones delivering our packages, but we might also be looking up at the sky and seeing drones flying all over with incredible speeds and accuracy, and they potentially could all be run by AI. The potential is there, and by that point, various upgrades to drones and their programming will no doubt make them all the more efficient, durable, and quick. And potentially, they could go beyond basic deliveries for people and do emergency work. Imagine a drone taking a vital piece of medical material to a hospital to ensure it doesn't get stuck in traffic? Or helping watch over an important convoy to let people know on the ground if there is the trouble? There are many ways that drones could affect our world, the only question is, will we let them by 2050? Let's keep going with transportation, shall we? Right now, one of the biggest ways to get around the countries we live in is the trains. Trains ferry people and all sorts of cargo around efficiently and reliably, which is why they've been in use for hundreds of years. But, if we're being honest here, while trains are efficient and reliable in certain ways, they aren't exactly fast. Especially when it comes to passenger and freight trains. They can take a long time to get to their destinations and at times it's more logical to take other modes of transportation. Which is why companies are making special kinds of trains that can go much faster. You know of the magnetic trains of Japan no doubt, but others like the Virgin Hyperloop are trying to push things even farther. Passengers or cargo are loaded into the Hyperloop vehicle and accelerate gradually via electric propulsion through a low-pressure tube. The vehicle floats above the track using magnetic levitation and glides at airline speeds for long distances due to ultra-low aerodynamic drag. Science fiction? Hardly, the first vehicle of the Hyperloop has already been tested and proven, and some larger tests are being scheduled for the next few years. And if this works, traveling across the country will be much faster. How much faster? The Hyperloop aims to send people shooting across the tubes that they make at a rate of about 600 miles per hour. This means, if they were able to do this across the entire United States from east to west, or vice versa, you could travel across the whole country in about 5 hours give or take. Considering it would take much longer for a regular train ride, or car ride, that's a big improvement. 
And they're planning to do this with not just people, but cargo, imagine being able to ship something in the morning on the west coast to the east coast and know it will get there before the day ends. That is quite impressive. Plus, the tubes would be built underground as to not disturb wildlife, and, they will go and make it in a way where there are no carbon emissions. So they're fast, they're reliable, they won't harm the planet, seems like a win all around. Of course, you do have to wonder what it would be like to be on a 600 miles per hour train thing, but hey, we just find out soon. And by 2050, this could be one of the main modes of transportation around the world. Before we show off even more technologies we could have by 2050, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss any of our weekly videos. Okay, we've had some fun ones, but now let's go deeper down the rabbit hole and talk about the ones we all fear. AI. Yep, artificial intelligence, and no matter what way you look at it, people are seriously trying to make it happen, and make it happen soon. And don't forget, these prosthetics could be used in many ways other than helping people with lost limbs. They could be put onto other objects, or potentially even be worn as exoskeletons when needed. Think of it like Jax from Mortal Kombat. Some people could even ask for implants to be put into their arms or legs to give them an extra boost, like TJ Combo from Killer Instinct. What? I like video games, and they have plenty of cybernetic people. The point is, by 2050, if these things are made, a lot of people won't feel broken or weak anymore because they've lost limbs or the abilities of their arms or legs. They'll be whole again, and be able to do things just like they were before, if not better. And that's a future we should be trying to live for. Now let's go to something a bit more, unique. Look at yourself right now, specifically, look at the clothes you are wearing right now. What are they made of? What do they feel like? What do they look like? Of all of these answers, I bet none of them are, they look like they can give me superpowers. Because they can't. Not yet anyway. Think about it like this, what if the clothes you were wearing right now felt the same, looked the same, but could do more? With the growth of nanotechnology, your clothes could potentially be imbued with various materials or technologies that help you improve your strength, durability, and more. For example, what if you had a shirt on that was light as a feather, but could absorb impacts and leave you with no injuries? That would be pretty impressive, and important, especially in this age of gun violence we live in. Or, what if the uniforms of firefighters made them completely heat-resistant and burn-proof? Further ensuring that they can do their jobs without much risk to their lives. The technologies that we can put into clothes are out there, and some people are working on it right now both in terms of multiple functions, but also, cosmetic appeal. Imagine if by 2050 we can craft whatever kinds of clothes we want, and even select what kind of abilities they have? Imagine you wear a special kind of top that has a special pattern on it, and then when you press a button or say a keyword that pattern unfolds and suddenly you have wings on your outfit. Wouldn't that be cool? If done right, this could be the newest wave of fashion and style in the future. See? The future is hip. I'm sure that last one left you drooling, so let's temper your expectations and talk about, school. Yes, it sucks, and learning can be a chore. But in the future, it may be a lot more interactive. Over the last decade or so computers in schools have been a, must-have, for various courses. But if the advent of virtual reality simulations come through as many expect them to, it could lead to all sorts of innovations in the classrooms that could help kids what's going on. You could take students to an environment in the past and show them what was happening, like watching a battle taking place, Pearson said. You can explain that sort of thing more easily if they can see it happening, than if you are looking at a textbook. Oh yeah, history and geography classes would be much more fun, that's for sure. Or imagine an audiobook, but instead of just audio, you can see the characters coming to life before your eyes and you watch them interact with others. Heck, school plays could have projected environments to make things seem more real. And of course, you could have virtual tutors to help you with problems that the teachers aren't able to help with. Education is something that can benefit from advanced technologies, and by 2050, our school systems could be so revolutionized that you'd have to try hard to fail the class. 
Don't forget to like, comment and share. Please subscribe and turn on notifications friend success. So you can update the video with various information about the world of farm business and plantations and technology. See you in the next video. Peatland Profit Overflows Business Opportunities.